Hey guys, welcome to Scenery Secrets. So yes, we're going to start a new series today and episode one is going to be about ballasting fast track. So in this series, we really are just going to go over different scenery techniques. I get a lot of questions about uh, how I did things on my layout, sidewalks, roads, ballasting fast track. So each episode is just going to be a different uh, topic on some kind of scenery technique I used on my layout. And I'm going to uh, show you not only how to do it, but also the products that I particularly use on my layout. So you can, if you want to replicate them, you can use those same types of products. So, so yeah, it should be a pretty fun, exciting series. So uh, episode one is going to be about fast track ballasting and how I did it on my layout. I get a lot of comments on this and it's super easy. So let's uh, jump right into it and see how it happens. All right, so let's talk about scenery. So just a quick thing about scenery uh, that I think uh, a lot of people get maybe intimidated by scenery because they see all these layouts with all this detail on it and they're like, oh, I would never be able to do that or it's gonna take me too long and it's just not true. Scenery is one of the easiest things you can do and it requires zero skill. So <clears throat> we're gonna talk about those types of things but I've kind of coined a phrase uh, called stage one and stage two scenery. And what I mean by that is that instead of like when you start your scenery on your layout that you just immediately start concentrating on an area and making it all detailed and super detailed on this little tiny area and then you look over the rest of your layout and it's all plywood, right? And it can be very sort of like discouraging after a while because it's taking you so long to get one little section done. So what I have coined is a phrase called stage one scenery, which basically means get your basic ground cover and everything on, on stage one. So that includes ballasting your track, getting a ground cover, which means every piece of foam or plywood is covered in some way, uh, whether it's, you know, grass mats or, you know, any kind of surface covering or whatever it may be. Get your basic streets and sidewalks down and stuff like that in your buildings in their placement where you want to have them, right? And maybe throw a couple trees and things like that on, but you basically have covered the entire layout and that's your stage one. And that can be done pretty quickly so that when you come down to your layout, it looks like, yeah, I'm making some pretty good progress down here. Um, and then you can do what I call stage two scenery. And stage two scenery is basically when you go back and then now you start adding more layers and more layers onto the, the layout. And stage two scenery never ends. So even today, I'll be in a hobby shop and I'll see something and I'm like, ooh, I can add that to my layout and I'll buy it and then come back and add it. And it's just another piece of detail added to the layout. And that way it's a sort of a constant evolution of scenery on the super detailed stuff. But don't concentrate on one single area and uh, try to get it perfect and then move to a never area because it, it'll seem like it's going to take forever to get your layout finished. So those are just my two little fra uh, phrases, stage one and stage two. Uh, but this would be considered stage one scenery. So here I have a piece of fast track right here. And why would I want to ballast fast track when it already has a ballast bed on it? Well, there's a couple of reasons, actually two. One is the angle. Okay, this is a really sharp angle right here, and so it just doesn't look realistic coming off a track bed. Okay, so what we want to do is use the ballast to soften that angle out. Okay, the second thing is, is this line right here. It's a perfectly straight line along the roadbed, which of course would never be in real life, right? You'd have rocks and mud and dirt and um, weeds and all kinds of stuff along the side of the, the, the uh, railroad. Um, rails, right? So <clears throat> it doesn't really look uh, realistic when you see this perfect edge going around. And so that's what we're going to also try to do, which is take care of that um, straight edge. So we're softening and we're getting rid of this straight edge. And after that, you can go any fur you can go further if you want to. You can weather between the rails. You could actually weather the rails if you wanted to. I've seen guys on videos who have done some amazing stuff with fast track uh, to make it look, look super realistic. I didn't go that far, so I just did the ballasting and that was it. And to me it looked pretty good and I was happy with it, so I didn't want to get further into it, but of course you can. The, you know, the other thing about fast track is they do have these ties here which are not quite scale really to uh, the way they would be. Um, they're a little small. And they're raised up a little bit and they're just painted uh, that different color there. But 
Um, because they don't raise up a lot, it's really hard to get ballasting in between each one of these ties. That would probably take you a lot longer. And I didn't want to do it because it was going to also make a mess in the switches and stuff. So I just left it the way it was and just did ballasting on the outside. Okay, so now that we uh, know what we want to do, um, how do you do it and what products do you use? So what I tried to do is find a ballast that matched closely in color to the rest of the uh, road bed here. And I came up with uh, two different ones. So first of all, I use pretty much this one here from Woodland Scenics. It's called Gray Blend. Its uh, number is B1395, and it is a coarse ballast, okay? And it has sort of a mix of grays in here, dark grays, light grays. And it, it kind of uh, was as close as I get, uh, could find to the fast track color. I also use this one from Scenic Express. So this is called their number 20 light gray blend, and but they call it fine, which is kind of funny because if you look at the two, they're identical to each other as far as the size of the ballast and the colors. So depending on the manufacturer, it has different names. So you can't always go by fine or coarse or whatever. You have to kind of look at it and see which one you like. I got this stuff because it was in a bigger container and I needed a lot more. So it was uh, cheaper actually uh, getting this from Scenic Express. Um, but I did buy, you know, a whole bunch of these to these Woodland Scenics ones. But again, this is the gray blend uh, course from Woodland Scenics. And this is the number 20 light gray blend fine from Scenic Express. So that's what I used. Okay, so now that you ha have that down, you just get your ballast. And I just took a teaspoon, an old teaspoon I had, and what I do is I take it and all I do is sort of just lay it along the track like this, right? And then I had a little, uh, basically what I did is I took a little um, paintbrush <clears throat> and, you know, when I was doing it, I would just get it off the top of the uh, fast track because I didn't want it to uh, mess with the ties, right? And basically you just kind of lay it down with, uh, a, that's all I did. So I got, after a while my technique got really good as far as laying it down, the, the ballast. And I'm just really just sort of like laying it down to soften up this edge here. Is all I'm doing. And, you know, you can, you can bring it out as far as you want to. It's up to you. Okay. And that's it. You can see right there. Let me zoom in a little bit right here. Right? But it was it didn't it took me just a couple seconds there <clears throat> to lay down the ballast, right? And I have sort of a just a random edge right here. Now, uh, one one mistake that I made in the beginning, which uh, you might want to be careful of, is you want to ballast before you lay in lay, uh, excuse me, lay any ground cover down because uh, I wasn't thinking and so I actually put some of my grass mats down first because I figured oh I'll put the grass mat down then I'll put the ballast on top of that it'll blend in and that'll be perfect nope big mistake so what happened is when I was gluing the uh, ballast down that glue soaks down and runs right into the grass mat and created a whole bunch of stains and made a mess of it it actually the flocking came off and it was just a mess right I had to tear it all out and then redo it. And so what you want to do is first get your ballasting done and glue down, then come back and do your ground cover. And if you're doing a grass mat, for instance, you could cut the grass mat close to the edge here. You just, you know, fall along the, uh, the line of the ballast and then cut your mat, put it down. And then you're going to take ground cover and you're going to blend that edge in so you won't even see it. And it'll give a nice rough edge along the entire thing. So. So just keep that in mind. Make sure you, you do your ballasting before you put any ground cover down. Okay, now that we have that, now we have another product that we're gonna need to use. <clears throat> so I picked this up from um, Scenic Express. Okay, it's called Super Wet, okay? And it's a wetting solution that breaks the surface tension on the ballast. So. What that means is basically the, the ballast has like a static surface tension on it. So when you try to put your glue down, it's gonna wanna try to beat up and bubble up almost like a um, if you waxed your car, right? It doesn't wanna soak through because it has this static surface tension on it. 
So you need to break that tension so that <clears throat> when you glue it, it goes straight down through the ballast and soaks throughout the whole thing and that'll keep it all glued together. So I'll show you how that happens in a second. But anyway, they sell these products uh, from, like this again is from Woodland Scenics called Super Wet, and you put it a little, just a little bit, it's like a capful, in a spray bottle, okay? I got these spray bottles from Scenic Express too, and they're fantastic, they work for a lot of different things. But you put it in there, mix it with water, and you have this solution. And you're gonna spray this along the ballast before you put the glue on. Just a very light spray, you're not soaking it or anything. This is gonna break the surface tension. Now, you can use a whole bunch of different things for this. You can use like denatured alcohol or you know anything that breaks the surface tension. The reason I got this is because <clears throat> I like to um, support the companies that are making all these different types of uh, Scenic products. I would hate for Scenic Express to ever go out of business. And so anything I can do to support a company that's supporting our hobby, I always do. It, it wasn't that expensive and so I just got it. But if you're on a budget and you need to do like um, alcohol instead or something, that works fine too. It doesn't matter what it is. All right, so that's our, we have our ballast. This is our second thing we need. And then there's one more thing you need, which is glue, right? And again, there's all different kinds of ways you can do it. You can do Elmer's glue mixed with water, all kinds of different things, but I, uh, also picked something from Scenic Express here called Matte Medium. And so this is a big gallon concentrate of this uh, scenery cement and it's, it dries as a transparent um, uh, product. So you won't see it once it actually dries. And what you wanna do with this is you wanna take this and mix it with water. So you don't take it straight out of here because it's too thick. And you wanna make a consistency so that it's thick enough that it's not making too much of a mess on your ballast, but it's thin enough that it's gonna soak through everything right here. So what I do is I get one of these little Solo cups right here, and I put the medium in there, and then I just happen to have a instant hot water dispenser in the kitchen, which is super hot water, and I just pour some in there, and then mix it, and the hot water really melts the glue and makes it uh, you know, mix all together really easily. But you wanna mix it in there and then you wanna come up with a solution that's kinda of like, um, uh, let's see, I don't know if you can see this here, but you know, not quite, not quite water, but it should be pretty liquid. So you can, you can play with it until you figure out the right consistency. <clears throat> but you don't want it too thin because it's just gonna run all over the place. Um, so you want a little bit of thickness to it and you just mix it together. Now I'm using these little pipettes here that we got from our Lionel train engines, right? They work perfect for me. A lot of people have asked, why don't you use a big large like turkey baster or something? Well, if you do that, there's gonna be so much coming out, it's actually gonna take your ballast and just run it right off your track and you're gonna uh, have to do it all over again. So you do have to use something that's not quite, you know, um, doesn't like, uh, let out too much product at the same time. So if I go on my track here and I uh, actually just put some on here, you know, do you see how it's it's sort of bubbled up on the top there? It's not, and so what happens is the ballast actually moved down a little bit on the thing because I have surface tension on here. So that's what this uh, this does right here. So if I take this and I just give it a quick spray, and that's it, that's all you need to do, that, that little bit right there. Now you're gonna get it on your rail, so you have to wipe them off event afterwards, but then take your, your glue and you're just gonna run it down like this and see how it's soaking in perfectly. Let me get on the other side of the camera here, my hand's blocking it. But basically I'm just running it down like this and soaking it and it's going right in because I broke the surface tension on the ballast here. You don't have to worry about it getting on the fast track because this stuff dries perfectly clear. You can't see it once it dries. And you, you notice it has sort of a white, like, uh, milky uh, thing. Okay, and go like this. So you see it bubbled up right there because I didn't have anything, right? So I didn't have any of that to, to break the surface tension on that area. And the problem is if you don't break the surface tension, 
it will move your ballast on you. Okay? And that's it. So you, this is what, kind of what you're after. You want it to look like it, you poured like milk on it or something like that. And you see that the glue sort of runs through and then down uh, out. And that's what you want to see. You want to see just a little bit of the glue running past the ballast right here. This is going to dry completely clear and this is going to be really tough and be completely adhered to the track and it won't move around. Okay. And obviously if you want to make, you know, I didn't, I was moving really quickly here, but you can, you can still move it while it's wet. So if you got something that you see is off, right, and you want to change it around, you can. You can see right here, I got a little glob of uh, glue that was part of the, I didn't mix it enough there, so I'm take that off there, but, and that's it. And so that's how you ballast a fast track. And what I did is I just went for like, I don't know, one or two foot sections at a time. I'd ballast a two foot section. I'd spray it with the uh, tension, the thing, uh, the um, super wet that breaks the surface tension. And then I would just take my little cup and pipette and just quickly run over it back and forth like a couple times and I'd be done. And then I'd be off to the next section of track. So it's pretty easy and these pipettes will actually work pretty well uh, because they uh, just have the right amount of uh, liquid coming out. And that's how you ballast fast track. So let's go look at what it looks like when it's actually all finished. So like here's a section of my fast track right here after it was all finished, right? And so you can see uh, the ballast makes it look really, um, it's not, I, I lose that angle, that harsh angle, right? And it sort and it, it blends in with the track. It looks really good to me. And then, of course, when you have things like I've got this wet area, this swamp, you can see where the edges sort of blend into the swamp there. And then also when you get to these types of sections right here, you can see how it blends into whatever you're doing along the uh, the rails, right? So in this particular area, I actually put some uh, weeds and bushes and stuff like that. But you can see on this particular area I didn't. I just have like basic ground cover right here and occasionally I got some bushes and weeds or whatever it may be but you basically blend it in. So this is actually um, this section right here is actually a sort of a mat down here and then uh, just some ground cover that blends in the edge right here and you can make it really random okay and so when you look at it overall it looks really good now I didn't do anything with the inside of the rails as you can see but for me I liked it the way it looked and um, it was quick and easy and that's its kind of finished product and then as you go along of course in different areas you're gonna have different types of ground cover coming up to the edge of the ballast but and that's its final, that's what it looks like. And you notice you can't see any glue or anything like that either on the fast track road bed itself or on the ballast. Okay guys, that's it for episode one of Scenery Secrets. Uh, ballasting fast track. I bet you thought it was going to be hard, right? Super simple. You can't get any easier. You just need a couple of products, right? You need your ballast. Uh, you need some kind of a... Uh, a wetting agent to break your surface tension and you can use the, the stuff from uh, Scenic Express or you can make your own out of alcohol or whatever you want to and then you're going to need some kind of glue so I use their matte medium from Scenic Express but you can use Elmer's glue uh, mix it with water you know I just the reason I use this is because uh, it dries uh, crystal clear and it doesn't leave like a um, it doesn't look like it's encased in clear glue it just disappears basically which is one of the reasons I use this particular product but you can use anything that works for you but you saw how easy it was to do and it gives just a little bit more realism to fast track or these uh, these track systems that have the uh, uh, plastic road beds on them so I hope you enjoyed the video as always make sure you subscribe hit the notification hit the like button and put your comments down below and I'll see you next time on scenery secrets